Hello my YouTube friends. Today I'm gonna help you streamline and solve all your audio issues for your live stream. We're gonna use a free tool for Windows and some organization to make it happen. Oh, and by the way, it's totally free. So let's get to it. My goal on this channel is to help people become better live streamers and maybe entertain a little bit in the process. So take a second down below and leave me a comment to let me know how I'm doing. And while you're there, click that thumbs up. That goes a long way towards helping YouTube push this content to a wider audience. And if you're not subscribed, please do and click that bell. That really does help me continue to make content that helps you. And it's totally free. So thanks. First, let's install the Win Audio tool that makes all this stuff possible. The link is in the description. We're just gonna go up to the top right and click go to download. And we're gonna scroll down here and we're gonna download the setup exe. You can also download the zip file, but this just installs it right for you. We're gonna save that file. Then we're gonna go into our Windows Manager. We're gonna get this when we run it. We're gonna run it anyways. And then we're gonna go ahead and accept the agreement and click next. You just wanna make sure that this is actually your OBS download folder. Mine is in an unusual location. Yours is probably going to be in C program files. So just verify that you're going to the correct folder and then click next and then next again and then install. And once you're done, you can just click finished. Now we can use Win Audio to separate all the audio we use in our live stream. But we want to go a step further and create audio profiles for the different scenes in our live stream. I also need to answer a question I got repeatedly about alert audio when you're not capturing your desktop audio. So that'll be in there as well. First thing we're going to do is rename this scene. We're going to right click on it and go to rename. And we're going to call this one NS Game Sound. Then we're going to go over into our source and click the plus and we're going to go to application audio output capture and I'm going to title this one Valheim and click OK. Then I'm going to drop down the window box and select Valheim and once we do that I can just click OK and you can see we've captured the Valheim audio. Then I'm going to click the plus and go to application audio output capture again and I'm going to go ahead and put discord in here and I'm going to drop down the window and select my discord window and click OK. Now, I don't have any audio in discord right now so it's not playing anything. I'm going to do the same thing. Go to application audio and I'm going to put in Spotify and click OK. And I'm going to drop down the window and select Spotify and click OK. And there we go. So now we have three sources in this scene. We have Discord, Spotify and Valheim. I'm going to click the plus under scenes and we're going to create another one. And we're going to call this one NS-intermission. And this one is going to hold the audio sources for our intermission scene. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go down to source and once again, I'm going to go to application audio. I'm going to select add existing and we're going to add Spotify. I'm going to click the plus and go to application audio again. And we're going to add Valheim and click OK. So those are the audio sources that I'm going to want in my intermission scene. I'm going to turn this down and you can see that it actually adjusts the sounds here as well. You would have to add them as completely separate windows if you wanted to adjust the sounds independently, which you can do. Now I'm going to go ahead and add another scene and I'm going to call this one game. Then I'm going to click the plus and I'm going to go to window capture and I'm going to put Valheim game in my text here and click OK. Then I'm going to drop down the window and select Valheim and click OK. And I can just stretch this window out to fill the screen. And then I'm going to click the plus and I'm going to go to scenes and I'm going to add that game sound. And there we go. So now we have Discord, Spotify and Valheim all in there. I'm going to click the plus and we're going to add another scene. I'm going to call this one intermission and click OK. Then I'm going to click the sources plus and I'm going to go ahead and add a window capture. We're going to add the game in here and I'm just going to bring this down and resize it up. Then we're going to go to sources and we're going to add our NS intermission with our audio sources from our intermission. Now let's add another scene. I'm going to call this one NS camera and click OK. And I'm just going to quickly go and click the plus and add a video capture device. We'll call it cam and I'm just going to add my camera in here quickly with the audio and there we go so now we have audio and a camera in here and I'm gonna move that up to the top of our scenes list now I can go to the game scenes and I can click this plus and I can just add a scene and add that camera in there and it adds it in there with the audio and I'll just resize it up 
put it down here at the bottom. And if I go into intermission, I can do the same thing. Click the plus, go to scenes and add my camera scene in there. And I can resize the camera up. And I'm gonna use the arrow keys to move the camera over to the right a little bit here, just by using that arrow key on my keyboard. And I can do the same thing with this window. We'll just kind of move it around and get it located. And there we go. So now I'm gonna click the plus and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a nested scene ns-alerts. And then I'm gonna click the plus here under sources and we're gonna select a browser source. I'm gonna call this one alerts and click okay. Now I just need to paste in the URL from the alert I wanna use and set up my size. 1920 by 1080 is the size of my canvas. And then I need to check this right here. If you wanna control the audio via OBS. And I'm gonna hit the refresh and click okay. And you can see it adds an audio source in there. I'm gonna just drag this up to the top and then I'm gonna to go to the game scene and I'm gonna click the plus and I'm gonna go ahead and add that scene alerts. And now when I test the scene, there we go. We can see my alert is working. We can also see the audio from that alert is coming in. And we'll just adjust the size of the screen. I can test it again and we can see that this alert is working properly. It looks pretty cool. Now if I go and I change to my intermission scene and I run my widget again for my alerts, you can see they don't play because we did not add it into the intermission scene. And so now here is a full screen shot. You can see when I play that alert, we do get audio from our alerts. Our camera is playing. We've got the Spotify sound and the Valheim sound all in one scene. Really, really easy to control and manipulate. This is how you add different types of sound profiles to your live stream. Now, if you want to see how I created that awesome full screen alert I showed at the end of this video, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.